Now let us derive the second equation of rotational motion. We have angular velocity, angular velocity, we represent angular velocity as omega is equal to d theta by dt, where theta represents the angular displacement. Therefore, we have d theta is equal to taking this dt to the right, to the left, it will be omega dt. We know when, let's call this as equation number 1 and in order to get the theta and d, we must integrate the equation 1. That is integral d theta is equal to integral omega dt. Clear. We have when, when t equal to 0, when time is equal to 0, we have theta is equal to 0. Initially, we take the displacement as 0 angular displacement as 0. When t equal to after s time t, we have theta is equal to let us say theta. So, this will be the way the limit of the integral on the left will be 0 to theta and here it is since the variable is t, it is 0 to t. So, this is equal to integral 0 to theta d theta equal to integral 0 to t and you already know omega is equal to from the first equation of rotational motion omega 0 plus alpha t. You must substitute the value of omega in here that is omega 0 plus alpha t times d t. Now you can integrate or this will become integral integral 0 to theta d theta is equal to integral 0 to t you can take this omega or omega 0 dt plus integral 0 to t alpha t dt so this will be Integral of d theta is theta. You have to put the lower and upper limit 0 to theta. 0 to theta. This you this omega 0 you can take that out. That is omega 0, 0 to t dt plus you can take this alpha out alpha 0 to t t dt. So this is equal to theta upper limit minus this lower limit 0 is equal to omega 0 integral of t dt is t lower limit is 0 upper limit is t plus alpha integral of t dt is equal to t square by 2 again the lower limit and the upper limit so this is equal to theta is equal to omega 0 t minus 0 upper limit minus lower limit plus alpha t square by 2 minus 0 square by 2 or 0. So, the final expression for the second equation of rotational motion will be theta is equal to omega 0 t omega 0 t plus half alpha t square. So, this is the second equation of rotational motion.